Hey there, a couple things before we get started. Uh, I learned how to play this song by researching all the videos I could of Kyle playing it live, just to kind of better gauge his intent when he wrote it, because the studio version can be a little hard to follow. Um, and I kind of realized that a lot of what he's doing is at least inconsistent. That's part of the charm of the song, don't get me wrong, but conversely, it can lead people who are trying to play it to think that it's more complicated than it is when they're really hearing inconsistencies instead of something that was planned. So just keep that in mind moving forward. Uh, it's more of a fun song than you know a classical piece or something that needs to be played exactly. So just have fun with it. And I've tried my best to make it a little more consistent and translatable, especially because it can be hard to communicate the inconsistencies that he's playing live. Uh, so I did my best to kind of edit and shape the corners a little bit to where I could uh, communicate it effectively. All right. Well, all things considered, this is a pretty simple song to wrap your head around, structurally at least. Um, four chords through the whole thing, all of them open shapes, except for uh, a few bar shapes thrown in there for the faster parts. So we'll start with what your left hand's doing for all these riffs, just shaping the chords, and then we'll move on to do uh, each part of the riff individually. So to begin, we'll use an open A, run of the mill open A. You'll wanna finger it with your first three fingers. I've gotten kinda of lazy in my old age, so I tend to bar my A's with just my index finger. But if you're going for accuracy, playing this song, you're gonna to wanna to use the first three fingers, and I'll explain why later. Uh, second chord will be a G, normal run of the mill open G, normal C, and then a normal D. So that's it for the first part, uh, the main riff. For the faster picking part, you'll use the same chords, but they're shaped differently. So you'll use this A bar, bar shape, um, and you'll only play the highest four strings. So it'll sound like this. And that's your A for the faster part. And the second chord will be a G again, but it'll be a bar shape just like the A. So just slide that shape down two frets. Again, imagine that G major shape, but just play the highest four strings. And that's your second chord for the faster part. For the third chord, just be an open C again. And then the fourth chord is technically like a D add nine add 11 or something ridiculous. Um, but all you need to know to remember to play it is it's a C, but just move your fingers up two frets. And you don't even have to worry about transposing the notes from the G and the E strings. Just leave those open and um, slide everything up two frets. And that's your fourth chord. All right, now we're gonna do each riff individually. Uh, I'll play it up to tempo first and then I'll slow it down. Just a quick note about that section. When you play that first A, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to use your first three fingers instead of that bar, because that first little line, um, you're gonna to wanna to hit that open B, and that's really hard to do while letting the rest of the notes ring out. So if I tried to play with the bar, you know, I'd either have to rotate my finger at a ridiculous angle or lift up entirely, which would, uh, prevent the notes from ringing out. So like I said, use those first three fingers and you'll get it to ring out.
that's about it. Like I said, it's a really messy song. Don't worry if you're not getting things super consistent. If you got a bunch of dead notes and strange noises coming from your guitar, don't stress. Because honestly, that's how Kyle plays it live and in the studio. It's just kind of a free for all. And that's the charm of the song. So, you know, if he's not going to worry about playing it super consistently, I sure shit, I'm not going to. So just have fun with it. Thanks for watching.